Welcome to a new episode of Wedding Wednesdays. Every Wednesday, the team from Weddings a la Mode and Mode Events joins us with a special guest to chat about all things wedding related. Now pour yourself a drink and let's get to planning. Hey! Hi! Happy, Happy Wednesday. Wedding Wednesday. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> yes. How are you? Good. Doing good. Halfway through the week. How I about know. you? I always, I think you might do the same. I'm curious if this is how you are. I pack the front half of my week. Yes. Like compared like to the too. later half. Yes. Which actually isn't a bad thing because at least, you know, then you kind of like, end on a high note, I guess, or an easy note or whatever. But yes, I think like my to-do lists for Monday, Tuesday are like a million things long. And then by like Wednesday, it's a little bit less, Thursday, Friday, sometimes I'm like, what do I do? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't know. We just want to get it handled as soon as possible, I think. exactly. Plus people have the weekend to sleep and think about all of their questions and they dump it on us. On Mondays. Well, um, if you guys are new to, oh, Dan Beckman, hello, <laughs> team nu- nu- nuptials, yes, okay, nuptials, I said nuptials, <laughs> anyways, he's like, eh. um, if you guys are new to the show, welcome, every Wednesday we hop on here live on our Wedding Zala Mode Facebook page, which also streams to our Mode Events Twitch page. And we talk to you, the viewer. So if you guys have any questions or comments throughout this broadcast, please drop a comment. But we talk about all things wedding related, which is pretty vague, but there's always so much to discuss. So today we are just chatting through the different questions that have been addressed to us over the past few weeks. Um, Some weeks we'll have a special guest and sometimes Angela and I will just talk through things that people have been asking us. So it might be all over the place a little bit. Hopefully you'll find something to be helpful. So if you're considering getting married, getting engaged, and kind of want some insight into what that process looks like, or if you're currently going through the wedding planning process, hopefully things that we discuss will be helpful. So Angela, I know we have quite a few questions. Um, We pulled these directly from uh, questions that clients have asked us uh, more recently than not. And hopefully they'll apply. Oh, what are you drinking, by the way? Total side note. Um, This is a vodka LaCroix with lime. Oh, nice. What flavor yeah. LaCroix? Um, I think it's the passion fruit one. Okay. It's good. It's I, that lime wheel like totally makes it. Right? I know. Like, it makes <laughs> it so much prettier. <laughs> and I think it matches the straw. Or what color is the it straw? It does. Mm-hmm. It's like a light uh like sea foam color straw so but this like reminds me of summer i'm like obviously ready for like the weather to start getting warm which yeah. i really can't complain since i live in las vegas and you're in chicago but you know still <laughs> well it got up to like the 30s actually i always check my phone um like constantly to see what the weather is it is now 36 wow yeah Impressive. Get warm. <laughs> Honestly, like, like single digits at least. Yeah, like it went down to the negatives a, th- a couple oh. weeks ago. Oh, that's yeah. so harsh. I'm like, how do you even walk outside? You don't. And then <laughs> like, you just don't. And like, this sounds so pathetic. I'm like looking out my window because I had moments last week where I realized I hadn't gotten out of the house. And oh I don't know if that probably doesn't happen to you. But um, I mean, yeah. so I was like, I, I would like open a window. Oh, just, just to, to like get some see the real life or like the yeah. real world. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can see my laundry. Let me just move that over. <laughs> it's like typical Zoom call. Like, <laughs> um, but yeah. So, what what question do you want to start with? I know you have a few. Yeah, there. yeah. So, um, one of the questions um, that we received was that um, my wedding is in May in Chicago. 
What should I do in terms of planning if I don't want to postpone? Oh, good question. Yeah. So Hard it's one. a little tighter here. Or it's a little more restrictive here in Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, right now where we are at, Chicago, you can do 40% capacity for restaurants or you can do 50%. Um, oh, no, that's Las Vegas, right? Las Vegas. Um, Las Vegas is 35% in restaurants oh. and then 50% in like gatherings, like places of worship and like, oh wait, maybe it was the other way around. Now I'm getting confused too, but I, I have it somewhere. I can pull that up. <laughs> it's okay. So in Chicago, it's 40% in restaurants. And then for, for like hotels or larger, larger event spaces, we can do 50 people maximum. But it can okay. be spread out. So like if it's different ballrooms or if some people are outside. Um, the reason why I, I hesitated is I spoke with a venue today and they're like, oh, we're at 50% capacity. And it's just like, okay. But then you have to do your more research because I'm in the city of Chicago, but there are counties outside of Chicago that might be a little more lax. So yeah. Which makes it difficult. I feel like even when it comes from like state to state, it's like, it's so hard to keep up with everything, you know, like Las Vegas or Nevada will be different than California. And then it's like people, like if the rules are different in different states, they'll like move back and forth. And then it's like, does it really end up helping? Anyways, tangent, but yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't, even, I didn't answer the question. So what should I do in terms of planning? I think what this mean, what they're asking here is um, like, how do I make this work? Because um, we have we have several couples in May. I think we have six, and we have one couple in May. I don't I don't know if they're watching, but <laughs> like I'm, I'm trying to be respectful of privacy. But they have already postponed several times, just like a lot of couples have, and they don't want to move any further. They just want to get married already, and. What they're trying to do is do a, we talk through like creative options and you can do like a more of a party for, for your rehearsal dinner. So like rehearsal dinners tend to be like a couple speeches, you exchange gifts, kind of like more intimate, but mm -hmm. they're considering do like a party. So That's almost cool. like that a is two creative. part. Yeah, like a two part party. Yeah. Something you have to think about though is if you do that, it's like, Okay, do you want your photographer there? And do you want to get your hair and makeup done both nights? Do you yeah, want like a DJ both nights? Twice the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, we'll just split it. You can do that. Yeah. But then they don't think about all the other parts. They're, they're just thinking about like the food sometimes. Like splitting <laughs> your guest count, but like doubling your costs potentially, right? Yeah. A doubling in this uh, catering would be the same as what they planned for, but like they'd have to pay for a hair and makeup. Yeah. Photographer twice, J twice. So, yeah. But that's a I great idea. idea though. I think I, I see myself like cutting out. Am I You're fine? cutting out a little bit, a little bit here and there, but I can still hear you. So, okay. I'm, I'm on using Firefox, which, like, when was the last time you ever used Firefox? Yeah, Firefox. <laughs> well, it was like really Chrome. cool. Oh, yeah. It was cool back in what, like 2005? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Someone recommended because I was cutting out a lot and they recommended I do Firefox. They said it's better than Chrome because I was really cut, cutting out on Chrome. Hmm. Uh, we'll see. Maybe yeah. I'll move to Chrome then because your your connection seems great. My can you know, and it's funny because sometimes I actually don't have good Wi-Fi here. And then even when I was logging on today, it said like this notification on the StreamYard. It said like, oh, it's so much better to be plugged into internet than to use Wi-Fi. But I'm like, no one has internet like that anymore. Either <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, like, what was it called again? <laughs> was it last week? Or, no, it was two weeks ago when we had Blush and Burgundy on. And I was like frozen or something. This is like the post show. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys are cracking up. We were because it was like your face would move into something funny and then it would move again. And you just look like a little robot. <laughs> Hopefully cute. the recording is okay. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll have to see after this is all said and done. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, so like back to the question, because I always go on tangents. Mm -hmm. 
if you're trying to get married in May, May is kind of questionable. The reason why May is such a questionable time, it's like we're hoping the vaccine's going to um, be more readily available. But I mean, no one really knows. So it's like, at what point do you make that call? I, I think yeah. 30 days out is appropriate. But what do you think? Like making that? Decision? Yeah, I mean, I think, I guess there's really no right or wrong answer. Um, but yeah, I think 30 days is like a good buffer. Um, just cause if you're much less than 30 days, then it's like, oh my gosh, I have to reschedule a bunch of things. You're rushing so much more. Um, I mean, obviously things happen, but hopefully by like that April a month and area, then we'll have a better idea of what's going to be going on in May. I know. Yeah. That's the thing. It's like end of yeah. March. Yeah. But like, we're almost in March. I know. So. No, February went by so fast. It's almost over. Um, it is the shortest I'm, month. I'm kind of glad. Like, I just, this sounds so bad, but I just want it to be fall. <laughs> you know, that's funny because that thought crossed my mind again. I was like, oh, yeah, fall, pumpkin, like pumpkin spice lattes, hay rides. It so sounded nice. Yeah, I'm trying to be present in the moment. Yeah. You know, I'm like, enjoy every day. Summer is a fun time. But I just want it to be fall because I'm hoping that we don't have to worry about this pandemic. But we said that like a year ago. Right? So. <laughs> we said like, oh, we just need to get through these next few months. Like, yeah. you know, we know it was going to be over a year later. So crazy. Crazy. I know. Um, yeah. I hope that, do you think that helped clarify? Like, it, it basically get creative, try to make the decision a month out. Yeah. Um, I would say have a backup plan in your brain so you're like yeah. mentally ready that way yeah. you don't have to come up with a backup plan a month out sure. come up with a backup plan now no. and then 30 days out you can decide whether or not you want to move forward with it totally yeah, yeah. <sighs> all right next question are we ready for it I'm so ready. <laughs> we have <laughs> my photographer said they may not be available if i postpone is this a bad sign should i cancel the contract and book with someone else oh um, I don't think so. I don't think this is a bad sign. The thing with photographers is they're only one person, whereas a catering company or a floral company, they have like a bunch of people that they can put towards your event. I don't yeah. think that's a bad sign. I don't think you should cancel um, simply because it is what it is. Like photographers are experiencing this more than most vendors and wedding planners, I would say too. Like I'm only one person if a couple bonded with me then they want to work with me. Um, I'm only physically available to be in one spot. Yeah. Um, what's happening is these couples are wanting to postpone again. And I've been hearing a photographer saying, I currently available, but if I have the opportunity to book another event, I will need to um, put an associate photographer on like a assistant okay. or something. Yeah, because at this point they keep losing money by holding these different dates for sure. these couples. So yeah, it's kind of a risk on both people's parts, uh, especially during COVID. Of like, I'm kidding, man. I'm committing myself to you mm -hmm. for this date. I'm not booking anyone else. I'm not making any other money on this date. So um, I think yeah. couples have to understand. That. I think that's fair, right? Especially, I, yeah, I think so. Charging fees too, like a lot of photographers are charging fees to postpone. It's like they've already put a date aside for you. Yeah, it's hard because it's like when you do a service like that, like your inventory is essentially your time, and so once that time passes, you can no longer like earn money off of that time anymore, right? Mm -hmm. So um, it's hard. It's like that with a lot of um, a lot of businesses pretty much everyone involved in a whole wedding is you know feels that way so yeah. tough times but yeah no I think that's reasonable at a certain point it's like I can't, I can't reserve I mean this is, the question isn't directed to planner mm -hmm. but if I'm a photographer it's like I can't re keep reserving like I'll give you an entire life <laughs> that's how yes. it feels <laughs> you can book you know, any I, day for the rest of my life <laughs> yeah it's just uh, it's been a long process for a lot of people yeah, it has been. But, all right, what else we got? 
Okay, um, next question. Are most venues holding couples to a minimum guest count or food and beverage minimum that they originally signed for? Hmm. Uh, my answer would be from what I've seen, no. We have had a few couples ask us this and then we followed up with the venue just to see like, um, we have a wedding in June for like 225 people and they're like, I don't, uh, you know, if we can't do 225 people, do we have to pay for that much? doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't make sense to. at all. So the venue said no. Um, Good. And then another another venue in May said that. It's like, you can't really force people to pay for 300 people if only 50 people can be yeah. in that space legally. When it's like, yeah, exactly. But um, I get why couples are curious. They just want to like double, triple check. Of since, course. Since they signed on the dotted line. Totally. Yeah, that's good though. But most places seem to be pretty flexible with that kind of stuff since yeah. it's the law now, right? Yeah. And they're not even asking for adjusted contracts. I think some people are just like, eh, fuck it. Like, excuse me. Yeah. They're like, uh, it's like, do you change it down to 50 and then change it again to 75 and then 100? Yeah. They're just kind of like leaving it from what I've seen is like the sure. original. But okay. in an email, they're just saying, we're not going to hold you to it. It's like whatever is legal okay. at the time. So at least it's in writing and email. I think people are just tired <laughs> of like doing contracts over and over. Yeah. Cause it's like, you're almost, you're doing so much more work by like postponing anyway. So then it's like to have to redo a whole contract. Like I feel like it adds up or it'll just be what it has to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll make uh, it I'm work. Cause I empathize. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, this is kind of a fun one. Um, what wedding trends are you seeing? Oh, yeah, that is fun. Yeah. Right now, I would say it's still micro weddings, which is basically mm -hmm. like a smaller, more intimate wedding. Micro weddings is still a thing. I don't know if you guys have heard of mini monies. That's like a trending word. Small. I like that term. That's yeah, mini money. <laughs> mini money. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of vendors have caught on to this trend. Like a lot of couples are asking, like, what. You know, normally you charge this amount for like a minimum. Some floral companies have minimums. Yeah. So couples have asked, can you do, oh, there, can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay. I saw my, there was like a black screen. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my, no, I didn't yeah. see a black screen. <laughs> okay, good. good. It's my connection that's poor. But um, yeah, mini monies and, um, I guess I'm trying to think of any trends. Usually there's like a trending color or a yeah. material. I, uh, the Pantone color of the year is yellow. It's like called illuminating yellow, which is kind of cool. If you want to, and there's actually two Pantone colors of the year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yellow and gray. Okay. Which is an I interesting pairing. Yeah. yeah. It's very vintagey in my opinion. Yeah. Or something. Like, I feel like but, I think of like old, like, I don't know, like 1920s theme kind of like. Yeah. 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 Like, like homey. Yeah. I, I have a rug that's yellow and gray. That's why. I think. <laughs> and it's in it's your my home. Kitchen so. rug. Yeah. <laughs> it's my kitchen rug. I'm on trend, apparently. Look at you. <laughs> Look at me. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I would just say still small weddings and people are more comfortable with less traditional things. Yeah, um, we have a couple doing a uh, like taco food truck, which food trucks have been on trend for a while. But mm -hmm. I think everyone's used to at this point trying to just find a solution to get married. Oh hi! hi. We have a visitor. You want to come say hi? <gasps> She's so cute. Hi. This is Ellie, my roommate. Hi. <laughs> That's hi, Lindsay. Ellie. Oh wait, she can't hear you. Here, oh, wait. like this. Let me unplug my. I can even get my thing unplugged. I have lotion on my. Yeah. Hi, Ellie. Hi. That's Lindsay. How and... are you? Good. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing right now? Just playing. Just playing. playing then. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about weddings. Yeah. Do you know what a wedding is? It's when two people get married. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. 
too now, isn't she? She's super cute. She's always like looking for me when I come home. Angela. <laughs> Ellie, how old are you? I'm four. Four? That's my lucky number. That's my favorite oh. number. <laughs> are you ready to get married? No. <laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> That makes three of us. <laughs> I know. Uh, my dad went to work. Oh. <laughs> to work, yes, he did. And also my sister is back home to her own home. Yeah. She also looks at both <laughs> of the homes. Yeah. <laughs> she does both. So I, like your, I like your bangs. Okay. Remember mommy cut them for you? Your mom did? My yeah. mom kept for me. <laughs> she sure They're did. Cool. I, I like having bangs because I have a big high I have a big forehead. So I like having bangs. Not really. Not I at all. Like this. Yeah. She's sick of them already since the girl now. Oh, yeah. Kind of her hair's so fine, it kind of just like she can kind of brush them to the side and they just hang out. <laughs> They get annoying. Have you had bangs before? I have. I used to have like side bangs for a while and then I had front bangs and I was like her age. I had front bangs too. So, um, yeah, <laughs> but they are so I, cute. I know. I know. Well, yeah, I, I love bangs, but then it's that annoying time of like yeah. growing them out. Yeah, um, it is. Yes, because then tempting. they kind of get to this like weird thing where they're like right over here. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, what do I do with them? You feel like you kind of have to pin them back every day. Or like day. tuck them behind all the time. Yeah, exactly. Tuck them behind your ears. Well, I like she can hang out with us. I like, I, I like her. Aww. I know. She's so cute. She's, she's always so like playing with things. And it's funny because she loves my cats. So she'll like just come in a room and be like, can I play with Star and Luna? And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. I forget. Are your cats to Claude? No, no, okay. definitely. Yeah, they have claws. Yeah, even though they're they're indoor cats, but still, I just I don't know. In case they get out, I want them to be able to defend themselves. So they have like scratching pads though and stuff, so they don't really like, you know. I mean, they do scratch at things here and there, but it's not like oh my gosh, all the furniture is destroyed or anything like that. Yeah, they have things to scratch on. My, I think I told you, but um, one of my family members has a ton of cats and they pretty much like rule the house at that point. Yes. They're like walking all over the tables and the counters and the stove. <laughs> and That's much. I try not to let my cats get okay. used to like walking on the counters. I try to like, you know, tell them, you know, kick them off when they do that. But certain areas they still, they still do get to. Um, like the Christmas tree, like when it's Christmas time, mm -hmm. oh, hear me. I just put my headphones in. Okay. Yeah. Um, they love like climbing up the Christmas tree and I'm just like, seriously, like we'll find a whole bunch of ornaments on like the bottom of the floor in the morning. Cause they'll just play with it all night. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, trends. Yeah. Um, still focusing on small weddings and then I kind of hope that trend sticks. I want people to have the ability to put their budget towards like more details. Um, we have a micro wedding March 6th and it's only 20 people. And because mm -hmm. they had, um, you know, like they put deposits down for their floral. Oh, she's so cute. They put <laughs> deposits down for the floral, but it's less people. They're basically doing like cooler floral. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Since it's less people. So yeah, I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Judging it up. Yeah, very cool. <sighs> All right. Are we ready for the next one? Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is the funniest thing that you have seen at a wedding? Hmm. You'd think that I'd be like, oh, <laughs> but I'm to think. <laughs> I mean, I feel like there's always like humorous parts of weddings because people are like drinking and being merry and start doing, you know, goofy dances or like, you know, yeah. <laughs> my very first wedding that I did solo was in New York city. And the 
groom, apparently, I wasn't there in the room, but the groom, uh, <laughs> this is one of those things, like, you know, you get wedding pictures back, and the wedding photos back, and you're, you know, you go through them, it's like Christmas, it's like, oh, yeah. this is so cool, like, reminiscing. Mm -hmm. I was going through the pictures for my first wedding, and there were pictures of groom on top of the shoulders of his groomsman. So he was like pasted mm -hmm. on top of his groomsman's shoulder with his shirt off and oh my sparklers. Like, <laughs> oh my um, God. Sparklers lit on each side. Oh, how funny. Uh, with like his tie around his head or something. I like, <laughs> totally missed really that. Like that. They, they, they did it while I went downstairs, it was, like after dinner during dancing. Oh, and I went, so of course, funny. I went downstairs for like, 15 minutes or something to eat my dinner. Like, I, missed that. <laughs> I think they did on purpose for when I wasn't in the room. That's so funny. But, like you would get um, mad at them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it's like, I wouldn't get mad of course, but I'd no, probably exactly. have to be like get down from there. <laughs> That's the one. Or like the chaperone. <laughs> yeah. It's like the one downfall for being a wedding planner. It's like, you have to be the bad cop of like, you can't do that. Oh, I kicked someone out of a wedding one time. Really? It's not really like a funny thing that I've seen, but I had to escort a guest out because they were so drunk and talking during a speech. Oh no. And they would not shut up. So I had to like usher them through the back kitchen. Oh no. Crazy. That's yeah, like mind your alcohol. Yeah, you know? right. Sorry you can't hang. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I think that's it. I think it's something else. I'll let you know. That is funny. Um, what's something you've seen? Have you ever seen somebody at a wedding as a guest or working um, at a wedding? I mean, I don't know. I feel like I don't know. Things are just always funny. I've seen like bride or not. Sorry, not brides. I've seen um, guests like fight over the bouquet after the bouquet toss. Oh, I saw like yeah. these two girls like on the floor like pretty much like fight they weren't like fist fighting it wasn't anything violent but they like almost like tackled each other on the floor yeah. for the bouquet <laughs> it was kind of funny. it just reminded me there was a thing i had and the couple you know the garter toss you're supposed mm -hmm. to like get the garter off of the leg yeah not not you but the groom yeah um, <laughs> it, the bride had a pair of like huge panties like big granny panties hidden okay. under her dress Oh, funny. And so the groom came out and he was like, what? Actually, okay, now I have another funny story. Do you know Amy Schumer? The yes. Actress? Yes. She She's was funny. a bridesmaid of mine. What? Did I ever tell you that? No. Yeah. She oh, was okay. She's now married with a child, but she was dating one of the groomsmen here in Chicago. Okay. And she was a bridesmaid. Oh. And she had just shot the film... What's the film where she's in Hawaii with Golding Hawn? Have you seen it? Oh, um, yes. Where like they get like abducted or something or kidnapped or something like that. Is yeah. it that one? Yes. I want to totally say blanking. I saw it, but I do not remember what it's called. Yeah. Maybe if you guys are viewing this, actually, I should have. I, the comments haven't been working um, on Facebook sometimes. I'm just logging in to see if anyone wrote anything. But um, she flew in. She finished filming, flew in straight from Hawaii. It was like a long flight. Of course, she was exhausted. Mm -hmm. She had asked someone she knew to get a bunch of candles because she was surprising her boyfriend with a cake. It was his birthday. Like the okay. night of, at midnight, it was turning um, into it, her boyfriend's birthday. So, you know, Amy Schumer's funny. So just, I mean, that's just like a known thing, but um, <laughs> she comes in from Hawaii, jet lagged, exhausted. And it's the only well-known person that I've worked with at a wedding. I'm pretty sure she's okay. the most well-known person. And so that was kind of cool to me. She like, I had this bag of candles for her boyfriend's birthday cake and the cake itself was delivered to the venue. So she goes, uh, you know, me being the planner I am, I'm like, Amy, what candles do you want? Cause I'm like, it was a whole bag of candles. Like there was like the squiggly ones. There was the traditional ones. There was yeah. the glitter ones. And like, I should have known she didn't care, but she was like, she was like, you know this better than me. Like, it doesn't matter. Just like put some candles on there. She was so tired and ready to party. Aww. I think that, that she was, <laughs> okay. I shouldn't have even asked. I should have just done it in hindsight. But um, yeah. the reason why I'm going on this tangent is because she and her boyfriend 
bridesmaid and groomsmen, they switch their outfits before being oh, announced into the so room, funny. which is really cute. Yeah. I've seen that done a couple of times. It's a cute idea. That's cute. That's really cute. I like that. It's unexpected. Yeah. People get a good laugh. Like, a man in a dress. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so then, unconventional. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's kind of like old school humor, I think, at this point. Yeah. Oh, totally. It's 2021. But um, right. she was a good sport. So that's I funny. Think that, that's that was good. a cute thing. Yeah. That's good to know that, like, you know, because sometimes you hear about like famous people actually being like total like idiots or just like really mean in real life. So it's good to hear that like you know when there is like she's a sweet. famous person that is nice and like she's sweet petite. And... Amy Schumer's petite, man. Like really, you always I didn't see know yeah. that. You always see people, um, well, not so much anymore, but back in the day, saying she was like heavier. Or she'll like poke fun at her weight or whatever. Mm -hmm. She was in great shape. She was short, petite. I don't know. Wow. Maybe the camera adds. I mean, not saying that she's heavy at all, but I feel like that was yeah. like her thing for a while that she pegged yeah. herself as. Sure. Yeah. Unless, unless she lost weight. Huh. Um. Yeah, we had some party crashers that had caught wind that Amy Schumer was at the golf club. Oh, that's so funny. But they're like fourteen-year-old girls. Oh my god. Aww. So we <laughs> asked them to leave. We're like, we can't be here. Sorry. That's funny. Kind of cute. <laughs> That is um, okay. Anyway, sorry. Tangent. Okay. What, that's a good one, though. That's a yeah. that's a good that's a good Random. story. I like that one. Random. Um, and then so next one is if you have any horror stories. Oh, I assume like any crazy, like terrible yeah. situations. Yes, I have two big ones. Um, but before I go into that, do you? Do you have it? Have you experienced anything negative when it came to a wedding? Um, stories. I know, not personally. I've heard a lot of things. Like I know, my friend was the maid of honor of her other best friend's wedding, and like their makeup artist was like three hours late, and they were like, was, "Oh my gosh! Like, what are we gonna do?" Um, kind of. I think that whole wedding actually was a little bit of like. I don't want to say a disaster, but like it was a stressful wedding when it came down to it. Um, but yeah, I'm like, that's ridiculous. Like three hours, like. Okay. Like, so before I answer or I tell you about the two stories that I have, that just makes me think of like what the solution would be if you and I were working a wedding right? and the makeup artist is three hours late, I would personally call every single hair and makeup artist I knew. Yeah to see if they could get their last minute for like a very last minute gig. Yeah, totally. I mean, three hours behind is unacceptable. I can't believe they waited. Completely. Yeah, well, and the thing is, well, so it was like kind of a destination or did they like wedding. Cut? Okay. So they, um, they're all from Las Vegas and then the wedding was in Sedona, Arizona. So they, and I think this, this uh, makeup artist, I'm not sure, don't quote me on this, but I wanna say she was traveling from either Las Vegas or like from Phoenix or something like that. So she did have to drive a decent amount. So, I mean, I guess that makes a little bit more sense as to like why, but still, I think it's completely unacceptable, but they, um, they had already paid, you know, like their deposit and whatnot. So they, um, which is non-refundable, but still I would, I don't, yeah, I don't know. They ended up waiting and she ended up showing up. Uh, one of the girls did her own makeup. One of the, um, bridesmaids ended up doing her own makeup. I think maybe a couple of them did that. But like, still, it's like, that's crazy. That's like, tricky. That's part of our job is yeah. putting out the fires and like finding and quick solutions. That's just a personal story. So like there was no oh, yeah. um, coordinator or planner, wedding planner for that, for that wedding. So yeah. it, you know, could have been completely different if like we were there. <laughs> but, sure. um, but yeah, still, I'm just like, oh my God. Like I could only imagine like the stress. I would just be doing my hair and makeup at that point or just going to a oh, salon. Oh, me too. Or, I don't know. Yeah, don't right. Know. <laughs> just to say to the details right. of the situation. But um, okay, so I have two horror stories. I'm long-winded, so I will try to cut it short. But um, one involves a mirror and one involves favors. So oh, I think I know the mirror one. Oh, we talked about this last yes. week. Okay. Was it last so, week? I think it was last week. Yes. Yeah, it was last week. So I'll paraphrase um, in case there are people watching this episode that watched last week, but in a nutshell, I tried to write on a 
mirror like with, with permanent Sharpie paint. And I thought I could just scrape it off, but it ended up melting the entire mirror because it was made of acrylic. So it was just a nightmare trying to figure that out. But eventually I replaced the entire mirror. <laughs> I can't believe you ended up doing that. Just like, like I'm just thankful it wasn't like a thousand dollars or something. Oh my gosh. It, it was yeah. like part of public property or whatever, you know. So totally. They could <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So did I ever tell you the story? This is the second story about all of the favors were thrown away in the name no. cards. Oh okay. No. So I had a wedding in this is like a couple years ago. And at a certain point of the day, all of the favors for the guests were thrown away as well as the name cards. I can't tell you to this day what happened to them. But we were setting up the dinner and oh we went to go find, like put the name cards out on the table and line them up and like I couldn't find them and I couldn't find the favors. And the worst part about it is that the favors were made by the groom's mom. Like oh, handmade. No. Yeah, like one by one she handmade. You know those like wine oh, charms that you yeah. like, put on the, she like handmade beaded wine charms. Oh, that's and, cute. Like That's a cute So um, cute. Yeah, that's a cute well, they, they were idea. Oh they were God. totally gone, and so I had to tell her. The name we never found, but I had the list in an Excel sheet of the actual names. Okay. So I called my friend Meredith. I'm going to give a shout out. Studio M, Studio M Creations here in Chicago. I'm not saying she does this every day or she can do it every day, but <laughs> day of the wedding that morning, I said, I need 150 name cards printed. And Ubered, it was Ubered to the city from the suburbs. Oh my gosh. So she has a printer at home. I sent her the Excel list. She, she was, you know, she's so sweet. She's like, what font, what font do you want? And I'm like, Aww. I don't freaking care. <laughs> I can't even think about it. Like, I can't. Oh my God. She's like sending me proof. Yeah, just send me like, whatever. <laughs> like, I'm on the phone and I sent her a picture of, the original because I thankfully had like a proof from the original so she tried to match it she was so sweet she tried to match everything but she's like what do you think about this and meanwhile I'm like setting things up and I'm like on my phone yeah it looks great <laughs> but we oh ubered it the so delivery like driver the, took the uber here. driver like had no passenger yeah just had that's so funny he came to well we booked the uber and before they got to her house I called him as soon as it was booked. I said, this mm -hmm. is kind of weird, but it's an emergency. Hopefully you can help. She's going to give you these name cards. That's the pickup address and bring mm -hmm. them to the city. Um, and I paid for it. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of how much it cost. I want to say a couple hundred dollars. Thankfully, the, the couple tipped me, oh. which kind of made up for that but I had to tell them I was like just in case you notice when you sit down the name cards are not the same as what you had <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> they, like they, they look pretty similar and the bride okay. was like oh she I, she couldn't have been cooler about it she's like oh it's fine like good thanks That's for letting good. me know and I was like Whew. that was yeah that was that horrible bullet, right yeah but then I had to tell the mom of the groom that I, we couldn't find the handmade favors that she spent time oh on and we had like it was part of like we were supposed to um put it as part of the place setting okay like put the favor at the top yeah and then, like, the menu and all that stuff so oh, no. i found this out in the beginning of the day in the morning that like we couldn't find them and so That's i was like crazy. When, and when, you said when do day, i tell her to yes. this day you never found them yeah they must have that's crazy. They got the way out by someone. Yeah. Through the trash. It was, it was. So oh my crazy. gosh. Oh no. I just, I'm laughing because it was insanely stressful at the time. Cause I'm sure I can only imagine, but like, yeah, they're all getting ready hair and makeup. And I'm like, hi, just like <laughs> nothing to see here. Bad news. <laughs> well, hopefully I was hoping that they would find them and then yeah. they just, they were never found. So um, I told her, I made the decision to tell her in between ceremony and the dinner because okay. that was a whole hour of cocktail hour. She'd have a whole hour to like grieve, <laughs> if you will. You know, like yeah. she took a lot of time and energy. It had like a little like message on it, like a really cute note attached. 
Aww. But um, I pulled her aside as soon. So I'm like through throughout the entire ceremony, I'm like watching them get married, and meanwhile, like all I could think about is like, oh, I have to tell this woman. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. So oh, as soon as no. the ceremony was done, I pulled her aside. I was like, so I have. I don't even know how I worded it. I was very direct. I didn't want to get emotional about it. I just wanted to like tell her. I was like, yeah you know, the favors that you made, we cannot find them. And I don't think we're going to find them by the time dinner starts. If they do turn up, I will let you know, but they are not to be found. And I don't think that we will be find them. And I'm so sorry because I know how much you spent on them, like so much time you spent on them. Yeah. That's a good way to word it. It's just like, it's like, there's not really any other way to, you can't really like sugarcoat it too much yeah i didn't want to like get her hopes up i just was yeah like, i don't think we're gonna find them so just yeah. letting you know so when you sit down and you don't see it that's why it is what it is and she was pretty cool about it like she was like okay and then her husband came over to me the father of the groom mm -hmm. later and he's like do you know how much time she spent on those favors i said i know i'm so sorry but then cut to dancing is happening and he's like, thank you for everything you've done. Aww. So I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, That's good. So ultimately it was good. It was just like yeah. a moment. I thought yeah. she was going to cry. Like, I yeah. Oh, well, well, fortunately that's like the worst. That's not going to happen. Yeah. That's, I mean, as long as no one gets hurt, I've had to call the right? ambulance a couple times. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Were they like too drunk or something or, um hopefully it wasn't the brighter groom passing right? no it was like a guest they were one of them was passing a kidney stone oh my god i hate to say it but it, it's like so painful <laughs> so yeah we called one for that and then uh, also my very first wedding it was in a really hot small church and one of the guests stepped outside and she was like about to faint so we had to, like lay her down mm -hmm. we got cool towels and water and was she like having we were hoping or something maybe yeah crazy just, she was just so hot she she was like she walked out and she was like she looked like she was gonna pass out <laughs> so before she even walked any further i like ran up to her and i was like are you okay can you please sit down for me like let's sit down and then i yeah. just asked her to like lay down she was like in the aisle of the hallway but i don't oh, care no. i didn't want her to have to go to the ambulance or go on an oh, really? yeah i mean if you like i mean even just to, like get your blood more level but also it's like if you pass out and you're standing yeah. up you could like hit your head on something totally like, oh my yeah. god worst nightmare yeah <laughs> worst nightmare <laughs> yeah good call good call on that <laughs> yeah oh no yeah but for the worst thing that's ever happened in all of your years of experience i think that's pretty good yeah like you know like, I just, not I good that that happened but like yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't want anyone to hurt get hurt and i like i've never dealt with like breakups or people getting old cold feet like oh we we almost had someone pass out at the altar we had to oh, give no. her give her a chair the bride oh um, no yeah it's so hot it was actually a wedding i was assisting on not, not like one of my couples okay um and then one of the weddings i worked in new york the night before the wedding um, I was assisting this, but the groom asked the my my bosses, the planners. He's like, "How much would it cost? How much money would I lose if I called off the wedding tonight? Like, how much would I lose? Oh no! Like all of it? <laughs> like everything you spent? Yeah, he wanted a number. Oh, he wanted my a gosh. number. So they told him, and I think that wedding was like three hundred fifty thousand dollars. And they told oh him, God. and he had like the best time of his life the next day. He was like partying it up. So I think he just like made the decision wow. to just move forward with it. And yeah, they're so still married and a kid. So. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's good. I wonder if he ever told yeah. his wife about his doubts. That's crazy. <sighs> I mean, I, I mean, maybe it was just like really stressful. I don't know, but it's like, do you know how long they were together before they got married? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like people, I feel like in this day and age, people date for longer than they yeah. did like a hundred years ago before getting married, right? Like, yeah. so I feel like maybe that's, I would think that's less common nowadays than it used to be a long time ago. I mean, I don't know for sure, but. 
It was awkward. Yeah, that is so strange. Your DJ, do you remember Samantha Ronson? She was like, know. she like dated Lindsay Lohan. She was a DJ. Like it was so. Lindsay Lohan dated a girl, and everyone's like, "Oh my god!" I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I'm pretty sure she was their DJ. But that was like that's dating me. That's like early 2000s. Okay. Yeah, that's funny. That's crazy though. I can't believe he like just wanted a number. Like, well, he's like I. He was expressing doubts, and he's like, "How much would I lose if if we just cancel this?" Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I mean, at least they're they're still, still happy. Have a kid. They're still happy, right? Yeah. There you go. So. I don't know them personally. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, let's hope let's hope they're still happy yeah cool um on to the next one let's see what do we got here um what is the tackiest thing you have seen oh mm. this is a preference and i'm totally. after, I, after i give you my answer i'm curious of what tacky things you've seen uh tool is pretty tough to work with like that tool material yeah um i feel like it's still a thing to put tool in a thing like a vessel with like those twinkle lights that are sure. battery, battery powered. That's like still a thing. And I don't know why. And Mason jars, I think have come and gone. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. call it tacky. They're just making a passing. I feel like in, the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in wedding trends. <laughs> Yeah, um, I wouldn't say tacky, but if I saw that now, I'd be like, interesting choice. More, let's try yeah. to be more innovative. Yeah. I mean, I do like mason jars, but yeah, it's it's been done a lot, I guess. Yeah. I'm trying um, to think of anything like tacky where I was like, <sighs> I do know there was a speech one time and the groom's mom was basically ragging on the bride. And oh, the, groom, no. the groom's mom paid for everything. And she was making fun of the bride and that she's like, and the bride wanted this and the bride wanted that. And she wanted a bigger cake and she wanted more flowers. And like, it sounded like she was complaining. Yeah. But they had a lot of money. So I think that was maybe her way of bragging about the fact hmm. that they were spending more money. It was so awkward. We're all like, that is weird. Ooh. And then this isn't tackiest, but like, it's a thing sometimes. So I don't know if anyone watching has experienced this as like a friend or whatever, but um, some cultures insist on, um, have, I'm going to say it, but like having sex right after the ceremony. <laughs> so um, I had, a, <laughs> I'm just laughing because it's like awkward and like shy. I'm like sex. Oh my God. Oops. What, it's like, what time is it? It's like almost nine o'clock. Eastern. <laughs> eh, we're getting into the later hours of the night. Yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, so like to consummate the marriage, they would have sex right after the ceremony. And so they've, um, I've been asked to guard a door. Oh a my God. Like gosh. twice I've been asked to do that. Oh no. Um, they never say like, hey, we're going to have sex, but that's awkward like, though. Like, like you can kind of tell. Yeah, they're like, we want to have a private moment. We need some time alone. Can you please make sure that no one comes in this room? I'm like, sure. But I just know. <laughs> of course. Like, I mean, anyone would. Just because knowing their culture and, and whatever. But and people have come by and I'm like, they're having a private moment. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's like, Ew. They're like having sex against a table. I don't know. Yeah. Like, like no. what are they in a utility closet or something? Yeah. Like, like you know, like a, a room. Like a okay. Well, still. It's yeah. awkward. Yeah, that is strange. But... That it's awkward, awkward to be a part of it when you're not part of it. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? Yeah. So that's not tacky. It's just kind of like uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Very, very interesting. Yeah. We get super close with our couples. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Um, okay. Let's see. What else do we have? Um, we have when 10 you. Minutes. Just so you know. Oh, perfect. That's probably good timing, I think. Yeah. Um, when you hear the word traditional, what does that mean when it comes to weddings? I think that's a tough question. I feel like it depends on the culture, depends on the couple, yeah. depends on the people. Yeah, I would say like when people say traditional, they tend to think of the more like Midwest style of like 
I'm just listing off elements, but the receiving mm -hmm. line is not, mm -hmm. that's more old school now. Bouquet toss and garter toss, not everyone's doing that. Yeah. Um, not everyone's doing a cake cutting, like all those wedding traditions. Yeah. Um, trying to think what else I mean. Like some couples are like, I don't like cake. I'm like, okay, you don't have to, you don't have to have a cake. They're like, do I have yeah. to do a cake cutting? I'm like, no, you don't have to do anything. Yeah, it's, it's your wedding. wedding. You can do whatever you want. Cut a cake. Like, yeah. do you expect me to say yes? <laughs> um, I would say traditional would be sending paper invitations versus like an e-card mm -hmm. or a wedding yeah. website. Um, and then traditional classic would be like a lot of white yeah. colors and like not a lot of other colors. So yeah, just think like white wedding, you hear that phrase. Um, have you had brides that have worn colors other than white? That's a good question. No, I have not. Okay. I've seen like fun shoe colors. Yes, I see that a lot. I've seen like Converse yeah. and stuff or um, Vans or like bright red shoes. Yeah. I and think you know, that's I cool had one, bride, one bride who had a, a navy dress. That's cool. That's yeah. different. Yep. I like that. It was cool. It was shorter. Okay. Um, I think she was just like, who cares? You was know, it like, still like a really big wedding or was it like a small? It was a smaller wedding. Okay. Well, I say smaller nowadays. This is really small. So pre-COVID though like small? Pre-COVID, okay. probably 100 people. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Not... Yeah. She was older. Okay. She was older and she was telling me that she didn't, she thought it was cheesy to wear a white dress. Okay. She's like, she's like, not to talk about sex again, but she's like, I'm not a virgin. What's the point of wearing a white dress? Like, <laughs> That's funny. You know, she was I like in her fifties. Really is where that comes from, like with the veil too and everything, yeah. which seems like a lot of brides aren't wearing veils anymore either. Yeah, I know. I actually think it's cute with the blusher, the little one in front. But yeah, I, I, I also recognize it's old school, like an old yeah. soul. So, <laughs> um, I wish I saw more colors in dresses. Yeah. But I think people growing up, they're just like, you know, always picture the white dress. Totally. And I guess there's like so. a million shades of white, right? Yeah. <laughs> like it's true. You, it is true. Like the more off whites or champagne colors. And yeah. Yeah. If you got married tomorrow, what, where are you at? Like if you had to pick Oh my out gosh. Your... I have no idea. I used to like, when I was a little kid, I used to always think that like, Oh my gosh, when I get married, I would have like a Cinderella like dress, like super like poofy skirt, like super big. And you know, I am still not against that idea because the way I kind of think of it is like, I would have no other reason to wear a dress like that any other day, like my entire life, you know? So I'm like, sure, I guess I would you yeah. know, want to take advantage of being able to wear something like that. I mean, I, I guess, guess that's, that's really the argument cool. then. Yeah. The white like, I guess, yeah. And like, who? why would you wear a white gown anywhere else? Because you would just look like a bride. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. If you like, went to a like charity gala or something in like a white gown, most people, yeah. you know, depending on the dress. But for the most part, people will be like, oh, you look like you're getting married today. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to think that I would do a color, like a pastel. But now that we're having this conversation, it's like, Maybe I would do white. Just yeah, it depends know. on the shade. Like I'd have to get tan. I'm always pale. That's true. I'm always pale too. <laughs> but yeah, lots of bronzer. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, do we have any more questions? No, I um, think that one's it. Okay. Cool. I'm scrolling things on my end too. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, if there are any questions that you all have, if you're viewing this and you want to just ask away, please email us. We, um, we're usually good about getting back pretty quickly within 24 hours for sure. But, um, you can email us at weddings at mode dash event.com. I'll put that up here. Um, and if there's like a certain topic you want Angela and I to talk about in the future, please let us know. Next yeah. week we have a guest from Vegas. Uh, his name is Jab and he's a photographer. And, um, yeah, we'll talk more about that, uh, next week, but he has a really cool setup for photography. I think it's like a photo booth. So we'll get more clarity on that, but, um, watch us next week.
same time. So it's 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Central. And if you don't already follow us on Instagram, because we will be doing um, reminders. Uh, usually we post a reminder on Tuesday to watch and sometimes yeah. on Wednesdays too. But um, anything else, Angela, before we wrap no. up? Thanks. Thanks everyone for uh, tuning in. It's always, always fun to have our wedding Wednesdays vlog. Yes. I catch up on wedding I, stuff. I drank this whole thing of soju and feel nothing. That's, oh, that, that's, which is fine, but it makes me concerned. <laughs> if, like, my is yeah. Ready or maybe I'll just hope that, like, it wasn't very strong. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Have you ever had soju? I have. It's Korean, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like similar to sake, but like the Korean version of it. Yeah. Right? Cool. It's good. Yeah. I don't really recall like the actual flavor of it, but I do know I've had it before. So. It kind of reminds me of vodka a little bit. Okay. Flavorless. Okay. I'll have to try it. Oh. I'll have to pick one up at the store next time I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> or a Korean wine. restaurant. I don't know if you ever do. Do you ever do Korean? Korean, Korean barbecue, barbecue sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Ask ask for some soju. I, I will. Know, like a bottle. I, I bought a bottle and it's like, it took me a while to get through it. Okay. But that's just me. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Have a great night. You we too. Bye, everyone. See you guys next Wednesday. See you next Wednesday. Bye.